This is the video review of the Power Rangers Megaforce Gosei Ultimate Megazord, and I'll be honest, I really don't know anything much about this guy. I mean, I know he's an undersized, Americanized, Zord Builderified version of a really big, generic spaceship looking Sentai mech from Gosager, and that's about it. I don't know either the Megaforce or Gosager, and I don't really care because I don't care about Gosager or Megaforce because. I hate the design of their uniforms, I hate the design of most of their mecha, and I really, really hate the design of their morphers. They're just an ugly, ugly face. I also really hate the header gimmick because who cares? They're just heads. They don't really add anything to it. They're not like extra lights and sounds or uh, weapons or anything. They're just boring. So, when I review this thing, I'm not reviewing it from the perspective of a collector. I'm not reviewing it with any kind of comparison to the original toy in mind. I'm reviewing this like I'm a five-year-old kid who got it from my mama for Christmas, and I'll be very happy to have whatever I get from her because she's my mama. That's the kind of review this is going to be. It's a pretty decent toy. It's big, it's got some heft, it rolls well. It's a good-looking spaceship for the most part, except it is really generic. I do wish they had put some more detail that looked good on the back, because it's obvious. Connector port, connector port, connector port, connector port, and a bunch of junk because they didn't know what else to do. On the other side, this detailing would have looked a lot better on the back, and there are also a lot of le uh, fewer screw holes on this side, so if they had maybe even just put the wheels on the back of it and had it face upwards, which would be a departure from how I believe the original one worked, then I would have liked this quite a bit better. I think it would have worked better like that, but as it stands, it's not a bad spaceship. It rolls pretty well. Now, the transformation for this is pretty simple. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the um, uh, Mega Ship from Mega Ranger and Power Rangers in Space. Mostly that it's a spaceship that has a really simple transformation. Because the uh, transformation of this is basically comparable to that. You fold these headers in, and by the way, these headers do not remove. If I cared anything about the header gimmicks, I might be um, kind of upset about that, but I'm not. I'm actually kind of glad they don't because it means you're never going to lose them and you're always going to be able to make this weird looking face on its chest. Bring the arms down, bring this down, and then you want to spread the crest here and fold it down. And you get the face there. And I think that's kind of an interesting look. It's a bit too close to the look of the Gosager and Megaforce Morpher for my taste, but it's not awful. Next thing you want to do is you want to pull the arms out and then, if you put them down, the arms are going to be back. You want to straighten them out like this. That's not an elbow, that just straightens them out, locks them into place, so that they look decent and they won't be able to go back in until you break them back like that. Then you bring the arms down, and the last thing you want to do is you want to bring the head out, bring it around, and pop it back up. And I like that little transformation bit there. For the head, you want to bring this up and spread the cheeks. And it's a pretty decent looking head, although I don't quite like this crest. It looks like he has two pencils jammed into his head. But otherwise, he is for the most part a pretty decent looking mech. It's certainly the uh, least offensive of uh, anything I've seen from Gosager. On the other hand, it doesn't really do anything else either. I mean, the most you get is you can open this up to make a uh, laser blast. That looks kind of ridiculous. And because it's a Sentai mech, you get uh, almost nothing in articulation. Rotates 360, goes in and out, rotates above the elbow, and there is no elbow. Legs go in and out, rotate above the knee, and bends at the knee, and if he uses foot articulation, he's going to fall. So, he's not a total brick, but most of it's not really useful. So, the only thing really left to talk about this guy is... Well, no, there is one more thing before I get to the sword builder stuff. He yes, these two weapons are really, really shitty. Now, the way they sort jet mode is you would uh, plug them into these little holes here, and it's really hard to get them out, and I feel like they're going to break. And they don't add anything to the spaceship mode. In this mode, you put them in, and they are the most rinky-dinkiest, non-threatening-looking weapons ever. You can combine them into a non-threatening, rinky-dinky bow and arrow, and I never wanted to see these things again because they really suck. All right, now we can get into the Zord Builder stuff. All that's really left to do is pop off the joints, pop off the arms and the legs, and the uh, arms and legs, or uh, the uh, Zord Builder stuff is why he has 
any of these range of articulation. And then you just get this um, basic unit here. Let me bring in the only other Zord compatible, um, a Zord Builder compatible figure I have, the, um, the Dino Mega Zord. Let's plug this stuff together. And this is kind of interesting. I like what they're going for here. It's kind of like Mugenbine. Um, I think they need to uh, make uh, a few more sets for this to really work. I'm really interested in what they're going to do with um, Go Busters. Because Go Busters, I really like the um, uh, Sentai mechs from that. And because they are s such part formers, I think that will be a really good set for... Ooh, look how wobbly that is. That's not good. I think the... Although I do like the color scheme with this, how it's all sort of the same, although he doesn't want to stand. That's a shame. Anyway, I think Go Busters and also... Um, uh, Gokaiger. I think those will be the two best sets, at least for now, for the Zord Builders um, system stuff, because the Legendary Megazord, which is the American version of, Goka of Gokaio, that has Zord Builder ports all over it. And then because the uh, Go Buster mechs separate into thousands of little parts to combine, those have the potential to have um, Zord Builder ports all over the place, so you can start really making some Mugenbine like stuff with it. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this has been a review of the uh, Gosei Ultimate Megazord. Don't really care for a Gosei or Megaforce. This thing's not bad on its own. I wish the uh, legs on the... when they combined with the Dino Megazord here worked better. Probably fall to the Dino Megazord because they're not really loose at all on this. But otherwise, um, I actually don't have a problem with keeping this figure in my collection. It fills a hole that I otherwise would never bother filling, and it's not terrible. So yeah, this has been a review of the Ghostly Ultimate Megazord. I review Power Rangers, Transformers, Macross figures, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe. Be sure to check our um, the video description for any links like to our Facebook page down below. And thank you for watching.